Gab and Jam. All right. So what are we talking about today? Okay. So today, episode 180, we are talking eight more tips for taking your own band photos. All right. As you know, uh, we have the Better Band Photos um, download. It's bit.ly slash Better Band Photos. But since we um, compiled that, we have come up with so many other suggestions, things that we um, take to heart. Okay. When we get ready to take our own pictures or have our own pictures taken. Right. So so these are just picking up on that. Okay. Okay. Um, and, of course, we know everybody should be getting branding photos, right? That's, okay. That's, we, we talked about that way back when, that yeah. it, um, it behooves you to keep current pictures of whatever your new concept and whatever your new um, products are. So by having the branding photos, you'll have what you need so that you can create those. Right. Or even if it's uh, if it's stuff that you already have. Yes. If it's old stuff, just do new photos. Yes. You know, and it could be just just keep doing your old stuff. Yeah. That that's fine too. Yeah. You know, repackage it. You know, um, but let it reflect where you are yes. today. Yes. So. Okay. So the first tip is the easy one, but some people overlook this tip is look for inspiration. So it helps before, since, you know, I know for me, I'm not a photographer by nature, so I have right. to decide before we even get into the shoot, even if we're having our kids take the pictures, right. what are we looking to get from it? Right. And so I just, I happened to watch somebody's, um video on YouTube and they said they do a Pinterest board right. and I don't know if I do a formal Pinterest board but just right. thinking about like some of the concepts like when we were doing Sugar Fit I knew I wanted to do something that looked kind of anime right. meets Batman yeah, and I wanted that pow that you know that symbol that looks like pow from Batman and right. so I kind of had that in mind when we were taking those pictures yeah. and kind of you know did the little anime hair and all that kind of stuff right and, and don't get too deep with your art don't ever feel like hey you know that's kind of superficial what you're talking about I'm not into that you know because I think even sometimes if it's no image mm -hmm. you know quote unquote no image you're still kind of cultivating the image and, and I think about that with underground resistance okay so when we um met underground resistance back in the, the what, 90s 90s mm -hmm. uh, their whole thing was that you never saw them yes you didn't know what mm -hmm. they looked like mm -hmm. so but still within that was an image because mm -hmm. there was this hard image of detroit mm -hmm. that was always um conveyed and uh -huh. then there was like if you did see them you saw them in the shadows yes. you saw them blurred out and then there was this stark you are em yep. emblem that they had yep. mm -hmm. so even in saying quote unquote not having an image right there was still an image yeah you know there was still this thing this industrial yeah. gritty uh, detroit image that was being conveyed even in the lack thereof yeah. so so again you have to think about what you know, what message are you trying to convey within your music and your photographs and anything that's going on image-wise should reflect that. Yeah, I like that. So thinking about that before you get started right. is half the battle. Yeah. Okay, and so following up to that, the next tip is plan a little. Yeah. You don't want to get stuck. I know the, the early um, sessions that we had, I would get stuck. I would be like, okay, I had one pose. Right. And then after that, I'm like, okay, I don't really know what to do. And there's something about the energy that drains yeah. from you right. when you feel stuck. Whereas if you have a plan, yeah. even if you just work that plan, right. then you are a step ahead. You say, well, at least I know I got the yeah. five poses I plan to do. Yeah, feel free to, I, I, I think you have to be, feel free to experiment. Again, you have to, uh, that you know, be willing to take bad pictures. Mm -hmm. Oh know? yeah, and that's so true too. that you've got to have that willingness because that's what's going to get you to find what works for you. Actually, um, that's you so, actually pick, uh, piggybacking on the next. So yeah. plan a little, but then the yeah. next tip is leave room for inspiration yeah, in right. the moment. Yeah, I mean, because I, I think you, if, if you if you over plan to me, uh, you may end up with. Uh, stilted yeah, that's type true of too. photographs, that's true. you know, where you know uh, you're trying to find just this thing, right? Um, and you're not allowing you know inspiration to you know, walk you. in the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so you gotta leave room for that. Yeah, and then there are a lot of times that, like you said, we do get caught up in it and actually find something. Right. But in the cases that we don't, I always go right back to the plan. Yeah. All right. And so the fourth tip is always be on the lookout for interesting locations. Yeah. So that was one of the other things. 
is that once you know we um, were in Ann Arbor and you know I knew about that the alleyway that mm -hmm. has all the graffiti and all that but then in passing you know I knew maybe the stairs in the museum so there were certain things that I knew would probably look very iconic yeah. in the photographs or in the video shoots right and so now I think I'm even more attuned that was a y over a year ago right and now when I go plas uh past places yeah a lot of times I'm like ooh, that would have make a, a good place to come back yeah and, and take some shots and I think too I mean and, and sometimes it depends on where you're looking to go like I like for specific genres sometimes there can be specific backdrops that work you know oh, like yeah. hip-hop it's always in some type of urban environment yeah the it's got, it's building or, right yeah. all the rest is kind of stuff and that's cool if, if that's really what you want to convey that's fine but if you are a hip-hop artist and you really kind of see yourself as being something different then think about something that's a little bit against genre mm. as far as where you're going to go and take your pictures oh, I like you that. know because if there's you know if there's been a dozen of Fifteen, uh, right? Uh, you know, people in abandoned buildings doing what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Then do something that's a little bit off brand for that genre. Right. You know, the same thing with rock or whatever else. Don't be afraid to do something a little bit off brand from genre um, with your pictures, just to help you convey a different image, so yeah. that you know when people see it, it's a little bit unexpected. So you know, for that type bit. of artist, yeah, a little, yeah. Bit, a little bit of a hook. Right. Yeah. So I mean, and, and that's the thing that you have to start because you always are looking, at least in my eyes, to set yourself apart from other artists. Mm -hmm. You know, and and a lot of times people, ah, oh, I want to be better. Or it, it's not really about being better. A lot of times it's about being you mm -hmm. and finding that thing that makes you unique. And you know, kind of your your photos kind of follow suit with your music mm -hmm. with respect to that. So you know, if you feel like your music is a little bit different for whatever the genre it is, then think in terms of your photos being a little bit different for what the genre is too. Yeah, I like so. that. I like that. It definitely, definitely, your brand should all work together for you, yeah. right? All right. Um, the next tip is number five is look to learn your equipment well enough. And this was one that it has taken me this long mm -hmm. to figure out that it is worth my time to figure out a few more settings for right. each of my pieces of equipment yeah. so that when we get there and something is not right, every now and again, you know, you'll hit a button and then your settings that you had right. are not there. And there used to be times that in the moment, we're in the photo shoot, we're yeah. in the video shoot, and I'm like, oh, I don't even know how to get out of this, yeah. you know, whatever the setting is. So now over the years, I have learned, you know, a little bit more to to pay a to learn a little bit more. Yeah, and, and don't be afraid to use your camera and, I mean, not camera, your phone as a camera. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, because for the simple sure. fact that, you know, again, a lot of things you're probably carrying it already. So, yeah, yeah. Because your camera is so multifaceted and has so many different things that it does, you know, uh, you can always use that as your camera and even like for the camera phones the, the little ring lights that you can get oh, for yeah. them are really cheap <laughs> yeah so you can kind of grab one of those if need be yeah but at the same token you know always feel like hey i can do this if you have a cam if you have a phone yeah. if you have a phone you know you automatically have a camera so mm -hmm. don't feel like okay i gotta get this no or get no 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 never feel that way no. about it but you know to the extent that you do get cameras and things like that then you know learn as much as you need to know yeah you proficient enough with your gear so that you can take your picture yeah because you don't want to get flustered we all we yeah. talk about that about the upgrade being right. a downgrade yeah. you don't want to get flustered in the moment you only have this window of time to right. get this done and then you can't figure something right. out and then that takes you out of that creative mode so yeah. we definitely and, don't want to do that and your phone can always serve as that camera yeah. so don't forget that part of it yeah i like that all right so the next tip is and this is something that we try to do when we can get at least one other person to help there's something about having a different point of view yeah we know that our daughter our son that they have a different point of view than we do yeah. so when they take the pictures or the video it has a slightly different feel which a lot of times you know we're leaning into it's just like they see you differently so they're going to use the equipment differently right and so it's nice to kind of have that outside versus you know um us having to swap back and forth yeah trying to figure out how to do the the self-timer and all that other kind of stuff it's really great to have that that other individual 
Yeah, if possible, that's definitely something that you should do. Uh, if, if you can have others that can help, that can chip chip in and mm -hmm. do some things for you, that always helps with everything. Yeah. So yeah, I, I agree with that completely. Okay, and so the next tip we learned from actually our um, photographer from way back when is take double or triple the amount of shots yeah. that you think you need. Right. And so I think he probably took a good 500 shots probably yeah. for that first photo shoot to get like three good pictures. Right. And I know it seems crazy for people who don't do it, but the more the better. Yeah, I mean, you guys have probably, you know, if you're recording and your digital audio workstation, DAW, you probably are used to doing multiple takes. Yeah. You know, and then what you do is that you will comp you know those multiple takes to make one good take mm -hmm. so you're used to doing that and so you have to take that same um, attitude towards your photos mm -hmm. is that you're going to take all these different takes to find that one good photo especially if there's more than one person in the shot because yes. you're going to be trying to get the best and i'm not saying the prettiest or the best in that no, way you want the, the one, one that's that... going to convey your image right. and all those things together that's right. what you're looking for that 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 picture that that quintessentially captures what you as an artist or a band, whatever you might be, is trying to convey. Yeah, and we like that. And it takes more shots the more people. So yeah. that's just that's that's a tip that we learned over time. And then finally this was one you mentioned when we were doing the video yeah. is bring your A game. So get enough rest. Um you know, make sure you have an outfit that you love. Make sure you're feeling pump, you're feeling jazz. I don't know, I do walking around, I do you know, the, the jumping jacks, whatever it takes to have that energy yeah. so that you can play to the camera. Again, yeah. you don't want to be so worried about the logistics or people walking past. We, we had that before yeah. where if you're out in public, people are going to be looking like, what are you doing? Yeah. And you have to, to ignore that, you really and, have to block that out. and bring you know. your A game right. because it's you in that camera right. and that image or that that video is, is most yeah. likely going to last way longer than that person walking past saying, what are you doing? You're absolutely right. It's a performance. Yeah. And you have to, this is where now all of a sudden it's like you're being on stage. Yeah. So um, it, it kind of pulls in both of them. Like what we were talking about before, you want to take as many different photos as you can. That kind of captures what you do when you're in your studio. Mm -hmm. You know, where you might do different takes with different feels. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, I'll try it this way, try it this way, try it this way, and, and you, until you finally get maybe that take that you like. And that's the same thing here. You, you're going to try all kinds of different things when you're taking the photos, but this is where it equates to when you're performing live, is that when you're performing live, you got to bring your A game. Yeah. You know, because you got to come ready to perform. And mm -hmm. you, that's the same thing. This is a performance. To you give know. your energy to the camera. Yeah. There's a difference. There's a, right. I mean, when I go back and I watch some of the, even the Gavin Jams. Yeah. I can tell the ones where I brought my A-game and I can tell the ones where right, I'm right. like, yeah. okay, I'm dragging. Right. And again, this lasts way longer. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you, you know, you're emoting, you're bringing your best. Yeah. As, as much as you can. You yeah. got to definitely look at it that way. Don't, if you look at it as being something secondary to your music you're not bringing the right attitude. Yeah. You have to look yeah. at it as being on par with your music. Yeah. Because it's going to represent your music yes, when you're not there. All of this stuff goes hand in hand. Yeah. That you cannot ignore it. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Okay. So what do you guys think? What tip did we miss in our eight additional tips for taking better band photos? Please let us know. Drop it in the comment section below. What's going on? Uh, we still are, as usual, uh, pushing sugar fit. So yes. stream it everywhere. Uh, you can get it from CD Baby. You can get it from Bandcamp. Uh, you can get it from us, wherever you might want the CD. And then, of course, we have a Patreon page with yes. respect to doing the vinyl. So, again, Sugar Fit, you can stream it everywhere. We love it. Well, um, if you dig the vibe, be sure to subscribe. We're wishing you love, peace, and chicken grease. Yeah.